Many Ohio students have started to take the first wave of new state assessments that are designed to do what previous tests haven't. They measure problem solving, critical thinking, and other skills necessary to ensure students are career and college ready. To get a handle on these new tests, we invited Sumi Ichikawa, a fifth grader at Hilliard's Ridgewood Elementary, to take a practice test earlier this month. She's heard of these assessments, but this will be her first glimpse into the park test. I think that this might be really boring. <laughs> we gave Sumi the choice, and she wanted to start with the math test. Which of these are equal to <clears throat> 83.041? I think it's hard. <laughs> Maybe this one and this one. What fraction of green search did Deanna sell on Monday and Tuesday? And what is it medium? Because, like, we did this at school just yesterday. It's just, like, so complicated. Even so, we asked if she wanted to answer the question. I want to skip it. Three questions into the practice test, and it looked like Sumi was starting to get overwhelmed. For family gap... Wow. <laughs> the OAAs were, like, more simple. It was, like, nothing like this, part B. Not all questions were too tough. She did find some she wanted to answer. Well, we did this at school, so... <laughs> Can I use Soon it became obvious what she thought of some of these questions. <sighs> After eight questions in, it was clear Sumi needed a break. We later asked her to take a look at the reading portion of the test, and it was obvious it was going to be too much for her to take that on top of the math test as well. It will take super long <laughs> to finish. How do you feel after just doing what you did today? I don't want to do it anymore, even though I didn't really answer anything. It's more longer and harder. It's way past challenging. If you had to say something to the people who wrote this test, what would you say to them? Thanks a lot. Hey. <laughs>